Question number one. Which part of the microscope is used to adjust the focus on low power? The correct answer is letter D course adjustment knob. The course adjustment knob helps to focus the image when using the low power lens. It moves the stage up and down quickly to get a clear view of the specimen. Question number two. What part of the microscope holds the objective lenses and can be rotated to change magnification? The correct answer is letter D nose piece. The nose piece is the part of the microscope that holds the objective lenses. It can be rotated to switch between different lenses, allowing you to change the magnification level while viewing a specimen. Question number three. What is the function of the diaphragm in a microscope? The correct answer is letter D to focus the light on the specimen. The diaphragm regulates the amount of light that passes through the specimen, improving the contrast and clarity of the image. Question number four. What is the function of the stage clits? The correct answer is letter B to hold the slide in place. Stage clips secure the microscope slide in position so that it doesn't move while viewing the specimen, ensuring a stable and focused image. Question number 5. Which part magnifies the image of the specimen by 10 times? The correct answer is letter A eyepiece. The eyepiece, or ocular lens, usually has a standard magnification of 10 times. It is the part you look through at the top of the microscope. Low power objective and high power objective refer to the different magnification levels of the objective lenses attached to the nose piece, but the 10 times magnification typically comes from the eyepiece. Question number 6. When carrying a microscope, how should you hold it? The correct answer is letter D, I the yarn and base. When carrying a microscope, always support it with one hand holding the arm and the other hand supporting the base. This ensures stability and prevents damage to delicate parts like the objective lenses and eyepiece. Question number 7. Which part should never be touched with your fingers to avoid leaving smudges? The correct answer is letter D objective lens. The objective lens should never be touched with your fingers, as smudges or fingerprints can blur the image and reduce clarity. Always use lens paper to clean the lenses. Question number 8. Which of the following is the proper way to store a microscope?
The correct answer is letter C with the microscope in an upright position and the cover on. Question number 9. Before switching to a higher magnification, what should you always do? The correct answer is letter D center the specimen and adjust focus a lower magnification. Before switching to a higher magnification, it's important to center the specimen. This ensures that the area of interest is in the field of view when you increase magnification. Adjust focus at a lower magnification. It's easier to find and focus on the specimen at a lower power, reducing the risk of crashing the objective lens into the slide. Question number 10. What is the total magnification if you use a 10 times IP sand of 40 times objective lens? The correct answer is letter D for 100 times. Total magnification is calculated by multiplying the magnification of the eyepiece by the magnification of the objective lens. In this case, eyepiece magnification, 10 times. Objective lens magnification, 40 times. So, the calculation is, total magnification equals eyepiece magnification times objective magnification. Total magnification is equal to 10 times 40 is equal to 400 times. This means that the specimen will appear 400 times larger than its actual size when viewed through this combination of lenses.